Hello! Welcome to Dark Souls, Education Edition. Like most video games, Dark Souls is all about learning. Dark Souls particularly, the first thing you'll see in any online discussion of the game is an exhortation to learning, to improve one's abilities at the game. Even the basic flow of combat in the game is an opportunity for learning. Players typically come in with some instincts about combat, hit the attack button as quickly as possible, then hit the dodge button when an enemy attack is approaching. But Dark Souls combat is a bit more slower paced and methodical than that. When you hit the attack button, you are committing your character to the attack and can only dodge away once the attack is completed. The player needs to learn to anticipate enemy attacks and assess whether they are free to attack or if and how they should evade. But despite all of the learning going on, Dark Souls fails to incorporate an important aspect of the learning process from academia, partial credit. In normal Dark Souls, if you're fighting a boss and die, you get nothing, no rewards. But that's hardly fair, is it? I deserve some reward for what I did manage to accomplish. So in Dark Souls Education Edition, the game calculates the appropriate fraction of experience points these are called souls, uh, as you can see in the bottom right corner. I was able to chip away roughly one thirteenth of the boss's health bar, and this boss normally awards 2,000 souls. So I should get one thirteenth of 2,000, or about 160 when rounded up. And now I can move on to the rest of the semester. This video is meant to get you to think about teaching, specifically retakes. This modified version of Dark Souls is meant to be in line with our current assessment practices. Students get one try at an exam problem and get partial credit based on how much of the problem they were able to solve. The typical Dark Souls experience is analogous to having retakes. Players get to retry as many times as they need until they defeat the boss, and students get to retake as many times as they need until they completely solve the problem. My hope here is to make an argument for retakes as essential to the learning process, as it becomes clear just how much this modification undermines the entire game. If you're familiar with Dark Souls, this modification of the game should clearly be no fun. One of the biggest thrills of Dark Souls is the experience of facing a seemingly insurmountable obstacle, learning about it through trial and error, and then eventually overcoming it. The joy, the thrill of finally defeating the boss, is the feeling of your brain reinforcing the connections that led to success. The joy of learning. This modification takes this away entirely. And this analogy is true. I've experimented with no partial credit retake-based grading systems and have seen firsthand the thrill of finally having learned to solve a problem a student was stuck on. It wasn't quite as rewarding of an experience, since it didn't come with a nice banner that says you have, you have defeated the problem. But it still was a very rewarding experience for the student. But the analogy goes deeper than that. Many of the boss fights in Dark Souls are meant to teach lessons that will be important later on in the game, and my player here has missed at least three. First, as I mentioned before, we've missed essential practice in learning to read an enemy. This boss is pretty generous with its tells, animation cues that let you predict when and how it will attack. Second, you're not actually meant to fight this boss at this time. You're supposed to realize that, at best, this boss fight will be really tedious with your current equipment, 
and so run away and come back later with better equipment and more experience. This is an essential lesson in Dark Souls. The game is perfectly willing to let you get in over your head. This is a really exciting thing. The player is being tested on their ability to judge whether to run away or persist, and hopefully the player improves at this skill over time. This isn't a particularly high stakes skill test, if a player persists in a challenge for too long or runs away too quickly, they simply have wasted some of their time. It's exciting to imagine the potential if we could harness something like this in our classes, where students would have to inventory what they've learned so far and organize that information so that they could assess whether or not they're ready to solve a particular problem. Third, the game also uses this boss to teach you that you can attack from above. This is an important piece of information that makes some boss fights later on much easier. So by awarding the player partial credit and allowing them to move on, they're missing out on some important practice, practice with their meta reasoning skills, and they're missing out on some concrete skills, and all of this will make the game harder from here on out. The player is also missing the experience points, the souls that they would have gotten had they completed the boss entirely, and this is part of the analogy too. Students who do poorly on exams are now behind in terms of the amount of points that they've acquired throughout the semester, and they'll have to be able to perform above the level that we normally expect of students in order to get this to balance out. We can imagine a player playing through this entire game falling further and further behind from not getting their full experience points boss after boss after boss. And we can imagine the player getting more and more frustrated until they give up. And this happens to our students as well. Practically speaking, if a student does poorly on an early exam in a course, it might be in their best interest to completely ignore that course for the rest of the semester and focus on passing their other classes. So we shouldn't be surprised when students who do poorly on exam one give up on our courses entirely. While there are some practical limitations, a student in a class with retakes is always on track to get a perfect score in the course. Just as how in the original Dark Souls, the player is always on track to eventually beat the game. So thanks for watching. I hope this video has helped you see how video games can tell us things about teaching and hopefully convinced you that a no partial credit retakes based grading system has some real advantages. In a future video, I hope to go deeper into the theory of grading and discuss some of the practicalities of implementing a retakes based grading system. I hope that you'll join me for that.